Hey, this is Matt. And this is Joshua. This is your Data Drop News for Friday, May 14th, 2021. Germany has banned Facebook from using data gathered from WhatsApp users. The move comes after recent updates to WhatsApp privacy terms, which German authorities believe to be illegal. Johannes Kasper, the head of the Data Protection Authority in Hamburg, said, This order seeks to secure the rights and freedoms of the many millions of users who give their consent to the terms of use throughout Germany. WhatsApp is used by almost 60 million users in Germany. American lawmakers have also taken notice of WhatsApp's privacy policy, with Democrats urging Facebook to reverse the recent update. The key concern the lawmakers highlighted is the fact that this policy may not provide an option to opt out. The Chinese government has a reputation for having its fingers caught in the cookie jar of personal data, but a new law may change that. China's personal information protection law is expected to pass by the end of the year and promises to bring GDPR-style privacy protections to internet users in China. This means that it is possible, in fact likely, that China will soon have a more comprehensive national data privacy law than either the United States or Canada. Microsoft has announced that it will now store all of its European cloud data on servers based in the EU, so their European customers don't have to worry about their data leaving the protection of the GDPR. As the world moves inevitably towards increased rights for data owners, this move hints at the complexity that hosting providers will face for managing data across jurisdictions. In the state of Florida, both the House of Representatives and Senate have passed versions of the state's consumer data privacy bill, but were unable to reconcile differences between their versions before the legislature adjourned. One of the sticking points, just how much protection the finalized law would actually grant to consumers. Florida's law was expected to be much more friendly to businesses than laws in California, Virginia, and the European Union. A new survey of online shopping habits by AI company Empathy.co revealed that 40% of online shoppers use the guest checkout option due to concerns about their personal data privacy. Angel Maldonado, Empathy's CEO, said, With the global pandemic forcing the majority of consumers to shop online, there has been a surge in demand for privacy and security, and a clear increase in fears over data security. Robot vacuums are an increasingly common appliance in our homes, and the amount of data they collect may surprise you. It's not just dust bunnies they're picking up. Like any smart device, these vacuums generate metadata about their usage, such as when they run and for how long, but many advanced models also create floor maps as they clean, and some even have cameras to help them navigate around obstacles. While manufacturers are quick to point out the precautions they take with this data, many owners never consider just how much their little robot pals know about their home. And now, this week's Drop Shots, your bite-sized news roundup. New research shows that the free versions of many popular fertility tracking apps are tracking users and collecting sensitive user data without consent. Of the 30 apps tested, 12 offered no privacy-related information at all, and the other 18 gave users no choice but to accept all terms or close the app entirely. An online coupon company reports that searches for VPN-related deals have risen sharply over the past year, and that one in three Americans now uses a VPN to help protect their data privacy. In a sign that AI is the next major battleground for personal data privacy, major law firms in the U.S. are building up their expertise and building special practices around artificial intelligence. The hiring spree is being driven in part by the FTC's recent signal that it plans to crack down on companies whose AI systems use deceptive practices to either train or market AI software. Researchers from James Cook University found that users were far more likely to engage in unsafe cybersecurity behavior if forced to keep creating complex passwords by overzealous IT managers. The academics say that short, memorable phrases changed often should replace random strings of characters as our idea of a strong password. And finally, a new study by Norton Lifelock and Boston University examines just how much your phone knows about you, and it's way more than you think, even if you think it's a lot. Visit the episode post on our blog for a link to this and all other stories featured this week. The Data Drop News is a production of the Data Collaboration Alliance, a nonprofit working to advance data ownership through pilot projects in sustainability, healthcare, education, and social inclusion. Listen to the Data Drop on our website at datacollaboration.org, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your favorite shows.